This Apex video is going to cover the basics of reporting and the reporting functions. So reporting is basically just a way of pulling your data out in some other format to, to store um, for whatever your purpose is. So the basics of reporting is I need to be in review mode and then I do need to have something selected. So in this case here, um, I could either select things like a single spectrum, or in this case, I'm actually gonna click on the area and load the entire area. So here I can see I have the area, I have my quant results, and I have you know, the, all the areas listed over here. Now to do a, a, a re report, I can do two options. I can either do what's called a quick report or a custom uh, current report. A quick report is gonna basically dump all the data, the um, the, the, the spectrum themselves, the, the image, and this into a quick report. And I just click on the button and it pops it over here into our report generator. Depending on the size of this, again, this can take some while pulling out the images, it's, it's custom making this. And here you can see, again, we have author names, we have dates that it was created, we got the, the project name itself, and then also the sample names. And I can see here, now here's uh, here's my areas, here's my points, and then here's my my spectrum themselves with the quant results. And all my collection material is going to be up here. So this is collected at 15 kV, 1300 magnification, etc. So all this information is always there with the data. Now what I can also do is, is kind of semi-customize these in different ways. So now let's say again I had, um, let's just open up one single spectrum in this case. And let's say for some reason I didn't want the image. I can go ahead and turn the image off and then click on generate. And this would generate a report without the image. I also do this with a quant, and just give me spectra. And I could do this again if I had all five loaded in this case, if I reopened this and said, okay, just give me the spectrum from these. Uh, I can go ahead and just click on spectrum, spectrum's active, and click on generate, and it's going to go over here and then generate um, the whole list with just, just the spectrum. So here in this case, I can see I have all five spectrum, same collection times, uh, and information up here on top of each other, and we're done. Now, just a couple of notes of the actual reviewer over here. So this is the report viewer itself. There's a couple different options that are, again, definitely worth noting. And one of these could be the save options. Um, you can pretty much save this in any way you want, um, including Adobe uh, PDF and PowerPoint or the different kind of Word formats. Um, I can often find the PowerPoint to be the best because then I have the the objects as full objects and I can move them around, I can push them around, I can copy paste them very much easier uh, than instead of from a PDF. The other uh, new option that can be really useful is going to be the send the email button. So I can say, okay, go ahead and just send this to me um, in whatever format I ask directly to an email address that I have. So I'm able to essentially set up an email, say, okay, just email this to me when I'm done. So I can just do that in, in any way I really want to. Um, and of course, there's always the print button. So whenever I'm done with this, I can just say, okay, again, I can save it, I can send it, and be done with it. Uh, and that, that kind of wraps up our, our quick review for the reporting functions.